Big small board, yeah. All right. So let's check it out. SP, is that better? SP. Okay. So let's look at it. Wait, let me take off my... How rude of me to have another keyboard while featuring this one. How rude. We don't want to take the spotlight away. You know, because I've been opening this one and then you see this one, you're like, but what is that one? Right? We don't want to take the spotlight away. Okay, anyways. Okay. So here we go. So the PCB I've already tested, small PCB. Yeah, so this is actually, you can buy this right now. I think they just did their extra drops. Uh, they sent this out to me to feature on stream, but yeah. You can still buy the e-white kit, the black kit. The army green is sold out. Dark blue is available. Wine is sold out. Pink is sold out. Champagne is sold out, but... Um, unfortunate. But... This one is unique because this one has a PC bottom. So the ones that I was talking about right now are the ones that have the, um, what is it? The PVD bottom case, but this one has the PC. So I'm guessing this is going to be a later release. Yeah, so I actually have a SAM board. I like SAM boards a lot. Yeah, I really do like SAM stuff. So I was pretty stoked when they asked me, do you want to feature this board? And I was like, yeah. Okay, look how small. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is going to be a later release, but the ones on the website right now listed are the ones with the um, PVD stainless steel bottom case, but this is a PC bottom. And this green is actually a newer green. So this is what it looks like. Cute. The blocker. And yeah, PC bottom. Very cute. So we're gonna go split space bar. I can't. <laughs> Love a nice green board. Yeah, let me show you guys another SAM board that I have that I really like. So I have the S80. Wait. Oh my god. It is the. It's a weird name. And now, now I'm blanking for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, SAM boards are always interesting. They also have a really large, like, LED screen one. SG81M is my other SAM board. So here it is. So this one's interesting because it has a numpad, but the numro is actually separated. And you would think like, oh, this backspace would be weird, but it's actually not bad. Hello, Jose. Hello. But yeah, so this is the one I have by them. Um, you can look at the back. <laughs> SG81M. <laughs> But yeah, same, same designer. Did I eat? Yeah, I ate. I ate chicken fried steak. <laughs> so this one is a top mount. I'd have to see what this one is. This one also looks like to be top mount. But yeah, so sandboard, sandboard. Look at the difference. Oh my god. <laughs> this one just eats this one up. Sorry, Patty. All these Christmas emotes awaken something in me. Oh, you're fine. I mean, I guess it's that time of the year. I had to put my keyboard back on the thing. Okay, but this is a hotspot board, so... It's kind of... It might be a little faster. It's December. It 
is, which means I should start updating my emotes. I just um, paid my emote artist, so there will be 15, or no, there will be 16 new emotes, and I'm getting another animated emote from a different artist. So, technically there will be 17 new emotes. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I don't think so. Hi, Jay. Hi, Matt. Something ain't right here. Bye, dog life. Thanks for the follow. Oh my god, new emotes? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I splurged. Hey there, just getting onto the custom board scene. Any recommendations? Um, so I would need to know your budget and which size you would like. And then I can give you recommendations. Oh, all the Chrysler emotes? What? Let me grab stabilizers. These are wild. Uh, where are my stabilizers? Oh, they're right here. I have ran out of TX stabs. <laughs> I need to buy more. I'm pretty much out. I I bought like two hundred dollars worth. I'm it's all gone. They're all gone. I've used them all. The eyes are Grinch. Actually, Jackson's showing like the Duroc stabs, like the colored Duroc stabs. I kind of want those. I know you might be thinking like, Oh my god, Puggy, the stabs don't matter. But they do. They actually do, okay? <laughs> they do matter. Yeah, I I would like to get the unicorn ones. Gat V2 stabs? Or what? All right. I mean, I I need to order more s clip and stabs. Stab material stabs matter. Color matching is neat. Yes, I love color matching. Actually, my most my most thematic build to this day is still my mix sixty five. I sold that, by the way. I'm I'm sad, but it went to a good home. It went to a very good home. Okay. Pretty much, I had this friend of mine who I've known since forever was like, are you thinking about selling your Mix 65? And I was like, no. And he was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. So he told me how his brother, who I know, was like, he's like, he's never been interested in anything keyboard related. This was the very first board that he was like, oh my fucking God, like, I need it. No, I didn't sell it after a week. And you know, I had I have like so many boards that are like in my rotation. And you know, I was like, okay, I know him. I know you. If you promise you'll never sell it and it's like the only one he's ever been into, then like, sure, you know. So I I just sell it. But it's my most thematic build because I had red and yellow stabs, red and yellow switches. And then I had red and yellow keycaps. It was like, it was like perfection. Perfection. In fact, it's so funny because when people are looking to buy that board, like they link the photos I took, right? <laughs> They're like, want to buy a Mix 65? And they like use my photo from my website. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen like four posts like that. And it's like, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... It went to a good home. It went to a good home. You want the rose? You really want the rose? I was just gonna give that away for a subathon. If it's good, yeah. Uh, I think it's all right. Sabathon? 
Yeah, I'll have a subathon eventually. Just give it away? Okay. I wanna I wanna do maybe a subathon when I get back. Maybe. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Okay, we got lucky. This one is actually good. This one's not good. That would be fun. I mean, we would need 1600, e 1600 sub points to unlock the next emote slot. <laughs> Diego's gonna do Subathon personal build soon. I'm excited. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was thinking about doing, but I've given I've given away a lot of my boards that I've accumulated. I've given them away to friends. So there are people out there with like boards that haven't even been fulfilled yet. <laughs> but to my friends because, you know, <laughs> that's okay. Wait, should I not do a subathon then? Should I wait? I mean, I don't mind. Subathons are draining. Other things are subathons are hard. Hey Chongo, what's up? You're watching the subathons for me? Wait, really? Jungle's like, sh I'm a short king, but I'm also 5'8". So, what I just did for those who are new here and new to keyboards, I just wire balanced. Also, I saw your message. Let's say you're looking for two boards, about $200 each and most. 60%? Uh, $200 for 60%? There's like 65s. How much is Bacaneco? Why are you wire balancing? Yeah, to it fully built a to it. Yeah, I think Bacaneco is like um good for 60%. There's also how much is the blade? Cause there's there's QK sixty five and um the zoom sixty five, but those go like um I think those are more expensive. Why are you wire balancing? Oh yeah, if I don't wire balance, literally Chad is going to riot and be mad at me. E sixty light, yeah. I'm trying to think of like. Words that you can buy now for under two hundred dollars. Where's my thock stock? Is it tofu now like two piece gasket or something? I don't know. I don't keep up with the tofu. Yeah, I will look at the Bacaneco. If you're looking for like a sixty percent and under two hundred dollars. Because that one still gives you room to buy keycaps and whatnot. Nice. Back and Neko, yeah. Choco Cake, thank you for the four months. Small build, true. Hello, how you doing? I failed my plate up run. It was so sad. I got to day 12 overtime and then I, uh, I made a mistake. And then I just died. So sad. About to start a new run. I think if I want to fully automate a restaurant, I need like a very big map. I need to I need to go into the round thinking like, okay, I need to go big. No room for error, yeah. When's the next last stream? <laughs> um, probably Monday. Keyboards can't be simple now. Well, so the keyboard hobby is interesting because I feel like nowadays you see keyboards that do, you know, 
double mounting styles because if you if you stick with like a single one um especially on geek hack you see a lot of like oh top mount six hundred dollars pass you know because you know people are just tired of like the same thing over and over again and so you see designers get more and more innovated with doing like dual mounting systems right but it's hard because right now there's only so much you can do have they played disney dreamlight no i have not Thekka? Thekka's interesting because Thekka's also Topra, right? WTF is multiple layout hotspot now. <laughs> yeah, they have that for sure. This new Stellar. Oh yeah, the Stellar's also good. Stellar's also good. Stellar's just stacked acrylic. You need a hot swap or solder. Isolate, <laughs> best of both worlds. Well, I just think... Okay, so for Thekka, I would only get it if I wanted Topra or if I really liked rub Rubber Hose. Otherwise, the board is like, you know... Not... Like, those are the selling points for me, right? Um, And for me, now that I have all these boards, I kind of have to think like which one is worth it wait wait flint hit the bok <gasps> flint got a bok bok did i get the bok bok oh my god flint hit bok bok okay flint let me know Sorry, there is an artisan. There's an artisan called Bach. <laughs> I was trying to win it, but Flint hit. Nice. Wait, Becca, can you just pop real force parts in there? I'm not sure. I will be real honest with you. I'm not very well versed in Topra. Oh. What am I what am I making? I'm building a keyboard. This one. Uh right here. This one. Did you figure out why Instagram deleted your reel? I don't know. Like I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. And I was looking for the alert saying and it just never said. But it was gone. I even looked in my story archives because, you know, like, if you delete a post, it posts it in your story archives in case you want to, like, undelete it. But, yeah, it it's not even there. Ain't no problem. She's toxic and elitist? I'm toxic and elitist? Heck yeah, I am. No, I'm just kidding. How am I toxic and an elitist? Is this because I called you a short king? <laughs> Are you retaliating because I called you short? I know your ego is a little shot, but come on. You don't need to go making judgment calls here and there, okay? You hate beige and white. I don't hate beige. <gasps> I don't hate beige. I just think it's boring in comparison to like all the colorful sets out there. It's a classy look, but it's also boring, okay? Don't you want some color and excitement in your life? And then people are like, Oh yeah, well, you know, the beach and the green cell, cell legends, that's color. Yeah, sure. If, like, whatever you tell yourself to help you sleep at night. But overall, as a whole, beige is boring. Because the colors are just very plain. Okay. <laughs> Where is my... But I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. 
I just think, you know, with all the other options out there, why would you not use like a colorful keycap set? <laughs> peacock, peacock is like, <laughs> let's just slap on lots of colors on there. Turn on shield mode to silence the beige of choice. Yeah, let's just ban the word beige. <laughs> That'll show you toxic and elitist. Wait, you added me? Wait. Who was the other person that added me? Wait. I got... I got a friend request, and I thought that was you. Who was the other person I added then? Monka. Who the heck is Fizzy? Oh my gosh, Phineas, I thought this Fizzy person was you because they sent me a friend request whenever I posted it in Kim's chat. And I was like, oh, Fizzy Phineas, okay, same person. But wait, it's not the same person? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay. Okay, because I saw a uh, Ho-Cham at me and I was like, who is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Who is a busy person? Imposter. I won't put the numbers. Yeah, I, I saw that I added you now, but <laughs> I really thought this busy person was you. Uh oh. Later I'll be like, who are you? <laughs> Before, whenever people would add me on Discord or Battle.net, I would like try to be nice and be like, hey, you know, like, instead of just saying like, who are you? <laughs> but nowadays when people add me, I go, do I know you? <laughs> because people will try to add me to ask me questions, but I don't like adding random people. Right? And so when they add me, I will literally message them because you can send me messages as long as we have like mutual servers. And I'll be like, do I know you? <laughs> but before I used to be really nice about it and I'd be like, hey, I just saw your friend request and I was wondering like why you added me. But now I just say, do I know you? <laughs> Like, the reason, once someone added me, and I was like, hey, I saw that you added me, like, was there a reason why? Like, are you trying to get a keyboard built, or? And you know what they told me? They are just like, oh, well, I didn't think you would add me, but big fan. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Which is fine if you're a fan and I add you, but it's just like, it was just like, they were like, oh, well, I didn't think you would actually add me. It's like, then why did you send me a friend request? I don't know. I just think if you have something important to tell me, you can just message me. For me personally, on Discord, there's no reason to add me unless we don't have any more mutual servers or you need to add me to like a group chat. But it's one of those things where I understand why people will add random people. If I know you, I'll add you, but if you just add me out of nowhere, I feel like it's warrant enough to be like, why did you add me? <laughs> Even though it's it's pretty like straightforward. <laughs> Who are you? Okay. 
thankful you added me. Oh. Also, I thought you were going out, Kim. Your fur coat on your chair is moving. He's been really evasive of me because I've been trying to brush him out. So every time he sees a brush, he like runs away from me now. But the best time is when he's like sleeping like this. To just brush him. Oh, you're on mobile? Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. I need to figure out who this fizzy person is. Honestly, I would do that too. If streams didn't eat so much data, I would watch streams when I'm out too. Whenever I was um in New Mexico with my mom, like as soon as I got to the Airbnb, I like whipped out my dad's iPad and I would watch streams. I think that was the time that Teha was doing his subathon. It was around that time. You don't have unlimited data? I do, but it like throttles me. After like a certain amount, it doesn't go as fast anymore. I listen to audio only on some Twitch streams. Wait, really? For me, I can't have like too many Twitch streams open at once with their volumes on. So I end up, I usually end up just like lowering the volume or muting them, but I'm still there. It's just, I kind of get uh, audio overload if there's like too many voices. <laughs> I mean, I have unlimited, but it throttles you after like a certain amount. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> unlimited, but slowed? Yeah, exactly. Something ain't right here. Uh, D17 Mage, thanks for the follow. I was actually doing wild stuff before I started streaming. Doing the storyline. Not the campaign line, but just like random. I would not allow that. I don't know who that is. Unless you guys know that person. Mods? Do you know that person? Oh no, you're fine. You should have sent my BD BDZ slash when you sent me the other stuff. I actually bought a shit ton of BDZ whenever there was a closeout sale from Dino Keys. <laughs> I have like four jars of BDZ <laughs> that I got for like 20 bucks. <laughs> it's going to last me like four years. Yeah, from Dino Keys. Yes. Oh no. Everyone's kissing. Yeah, these are Durox. Yo, you can pass that VGZ down to your kids. True. Everyone kiss Alvin. <laughs> Hey, explicit. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Instigator's watching you. Hi, quick question. You zoom 87 alu player FR fur plate. If you want stiffer, then you go alu. If you want still stiff but not as stiff, then FR4. I personally like FR4, but that's a you question in terms of if you want it more stiff or less stiff. But it's like stiffer or stiff. I think FR4 is still considered like a harder plate, but you know. Any sound difference? Yes. So I feel like with alu plate, it's going to be a bit louder, more resonant because it's, you know, metal. Whereas like FR4, it's not going to be as muted as like the softer plates, but it's going to be more quiet in my opinion. But it also depends on like the mounting and which uh, switches you use, right? Oh, hi, Sandy! Yeah, they sent me out. They sent this out to me to build. But FR4 is actually my preferred plate nowadays. But if you like a louder and... Something right here. Thanks for the follow. A louder and more stiff plate, then you go Alu. And if you want not as stiff and like a little more quiet, and if you're trying to achieve like a more, not as like metallic sound, then FR4. He's never a fan of FR4, really. I love FR4 half plate. I don't know. I just like half plate. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. I like plateless at half plate. I don't like carbon fiber. I think carbon carbon fiber is like too close to alu for me. Yeah, no problem. Sorry it wasn't like more definitive, but it's kind of hard to say because the switches you use change it a lot. Same with mounting. Ever first it hard as alley to me without the metallic tones at Oh, really? Alright, ban them. Ban, thanks. Can you guys make sure to ban him from all keyboard streams? Instigator. Just ban him from every keyboard streamer. Just do it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so freaking ready. Check out this small case. Kissy bottom. I mean, if you come into a keyboard stream and you act like an idiot, you're pretty much gonna get banned in like <laughs> I would say 80% of other keyboard streamers. So if you ever want to like actually join the hobby, good luck. It's too big. Good. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of the good and bad thing about the hobby is that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you got your Tiger Light delivered? Nice! What color did you get? 
I think I'm supposed to be building one soon. Your stabs are starting to rattle bad. Time to plug it with BDZ. I think Wildcat does that. Wait, am I just chatting? Is that why? No, I'm a makers and crafting. Huh. Wow. Surprising. Hmm. Because I was in just chatting yesterday and it was fine. But, huh, that's surprising. Okay, so it is top mount. Kato? Yeah. Me cat. I need to brush him. But he runs away from me. You see this? This tuft right here? I've been trying to brush out this tuft, but legit, I, I show him the brush and he runs from me. Yeah. It's just that one part. Oh, Mino Keys! I like Mino Keys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Goes about to start howling. Whatever happened to Lala's magnet board? Did that ever run? Uh, I don't know. What happened to Lala? No, the dogs are just outside barking. Asserting their dominance. You know? Something ain't right here. Thanks for the follow. Wait. Did I do this? Oh, it's this way. No wonder. <laughs> no, he's playing the new Dark Tide game. Dodo? Dodo is my parents' dog's name. You missed Kim's stream? I was there. It was magnificent. Dark Tide was fun. Yeah, that's what Connor's been playing. These are orange switches with a light green stem. <laughs> Stop. Yes, I was watching Kim's stream. Yeah, Kim, I have a um I have a Wutra lube station that they sent to me that I can send. Orange switches? Yeah, they're the color orange. <laughs> and then I'll I'll give the Sukoyomi and the Ibis to Joe so y'all have those two keyboards to build as well. Yeah, they're tangerine switches. <laughs> They're making fun of me because I always say it wrong. What did Instigator do? Oh, he changed the cooldown? Because they're Tangies. But I, was, I was calling them Tang... Uh, how was I saying it? Tangies for a little bit? I don't know. I was saying it wrong, though. And everyone's like... It's... 
Yeah. <laughs> Mars' first final exam? Good luck. Oh, so you guys want to update? So, my sister's fiance's father had surgery. They did 60% from his sister and 40% from her fiance and they're out of surgery now they're waiting for the dad to wake up um in a few hours hopefully but the surgery was a success or it's they think it was a success so they're just waiting on him to wake up but her fiance and his sister are out of surgery so We'll see if it was actually, like, a success. Because after, like, a major surgery, you need them to wake up, right? Hopefully they're doing well, yeah. We'll we'll find out. <clears throat> also, hi, Sakiri. Yeah, we're building with a really small board today. It's very cute. Though. It'll take time for the liver to take, yeah. Because they said it was like 5 a.m. there, but he, they're estimating he'll wake up around like 2 p.m. So, a lot of hours, but we'll see. But Jimin and his sister are out and awake, so they're okay. In pain, but we'll see what happens. Hi, kill switch. Hope all is well, yeah. I think it'll, I'm hoping it'll be okay. The father would need a lot of rest too, yeah. He's pretty much been in the hospital, like, fighting for his life the last two and a half weeks. So, hopefully this is the first path to his recovery, you know, hoping. <laughs> Bruh. Why are all my friends top top artists Joji? That just says all my friends are depressed or heartbroken. <laughs> Literally all my friends top is Joji. <laughs> like what the But I guess I can't say that either because <laughs> who is my top five? Let me see. Mine was... Bank, Joji, J. Chow, Palaelis, and Cosmo Midnight. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot of Bank, though. I can show you Bank. This is bank. So we're gonna do foam and then no foam. Yeah, we'll do no foam after this. This is with foam first. Oh, also voodoo. Remind me I need to send you this before I forget. Okay. Uh, so small. Wait, World Cup, who won? Who won the matches today?
Wait, there was a match today, right? Argentina, Netherlands? Dang. Australia lost. Quirtle, you know I'm gonna get to meet John in Korea? Wait, is John tall? John doesn't seem very tall. John seems like a short king. But is he tall? <laughs> Yeah, John is too tall. Sorry, John. <laughs> I did not wake up at 7 a.m. to watch it. I think I was awake, but I was just... I don't really follow it too closely. Every man in front of Patty is like a short king. That's not true. Everyone's tall compared to me. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if, like, John is talking to me and we'll be like, Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> I'm- I'm so afraid. It's like hearing it- Hearing it, like, IRL is, like, different from, like, hearing it over the stream, you know? So... John's similar height to Brian for skill lit. Brian's not very tall. Okay. It's not, it's not like Tim Keyless, you know. I met Tim and I was like, whoa, you're tall. And then I met Kiwi and I was like, whoa, <laughs> you're even taller. <laughs> We're all very tall and handsome, true. <laughs> I feel like Johnson made me an IRL, IRL and he's like used to my stream volume and he's gonna meet me and he's gonna be like can you say that again I can't not hear you <laughs> cause my my microphone is like max gain on top of an additional like 5 gain in OBS Please define tall. If you're taller than me, you're tall. <laughs> oh my god, please, I always have your shoes on my full body. I know. <laughs> I mean, that's just like my first impression, you know. <laughs> my be <feet> is tall. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm actually six seven on a good day and four eight on a bad day. Depends on my posture really. <laughs> okay, I won't I won't bring up the tall <laughs> the tall thing anymore. <laughs> it's obviously hitting some nerves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hitting sore spots for a lot of people.
I like this song a lot. Okay. I actually have a 40s kit for this. Believe it or not, I bought specific keycaps just for this. Soju's 40s kit. Yeah, I think EPB2 Soju came out well. The dust mat uh, leaves some space to. has some space for improvement. Here, five foot rounded up. Nice. I'm around that height too. Okay. This was designed by Dandy. Dandruff. Except Dandy hates me. Dandy and I got into trouble in the, uh, cute keyword club discord <laughs> i was told not to instigate <laughs> no it's just um ah goddamn basically people found out that in the cute keyboard discord a while back that you could add everyone and so different people started to add everyone <laughs> and i saw dandy ship posting and so i was like oh hey dandy and he's like oh hey patty <laughs> you know um you want to try adding everyone i was like i don't know like maybe you should do it first so then dandy did it and then like the mods finally came in and they were like stop instigating Dandy, Patty, you should know better. And I was like, fuck, sorry. <laughs> yeah, in the Discord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's from a while ago. Wait, do I have a green artisan? Oh, let's use this one. Oh, this is the Brian Miru. Ooh, looks good. Am I already done? Yeah, it's a 40s and a tot swap. Oh, the Shiro is on the um 380. Yeah, it's on 380. You want the brine bean? Do you have the brine bean? Did you see the Christmas mirrors? Oh no. I'ma need I'ma need <laughs> some favors. <laughs> They're so cute. Heck. They're so cute. <laughs> Am I in trouble? No. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. <laughs> yeah, heck. <laughs> Something ain't right here. Thanks for the follow. I mean, I want both of them. What was the last one? I did not hit on the... The scenario... Uh, Miru. I was very sad about that one. That one was a cute one. Okay, so this one is shift, right? Man, where's Forbidden when you need a 40s expert? Or where's Tony? Tony, Forbidden, uh, Gnarly, Charlie. Who else is it to the 40s? Put here. Enter? Do they have pink enter? 
I kind of like this pink up too. No, this is too short. I need longer. Your enter. It will match the brine. This is shift. Is there a tab? There is a tab. This one? I mean, with 40s, it's just a matter of like getting used to it, right? I see you later, LPC. See you later. I feel like these are longer. Wait, I have the, uh... Hold on. You daily a 40? Yeah, I know a few people who code on a 40. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? They just like to do life in hard mo mode, I guess. I daily a hundred, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we just do the pink space bar accents. Hello, Isa. Little black sheep. I think we just do the pink space bars, but for the enter, we still do the green. What do you guys think? Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Ouch. So let's do this screen. Yeah. You missed a whole build. That's okay. We're gonna do another one with the um different uh no foam. So it it was hot swap and it was a forties, so it was bound to be very fast. I'm guessing the small shift is in... Here? Okay. Do I need any more of these small keys? <laughs> shift? What's this? Okay. I'm starting to bring in different boards every week for work to spice things up. I would do that too. Yes, we're using soju. I think 60% or I can do 50. But I feel you on that one. Let's see this one. And then it's the really small shift. Do I have a really, really small shift? Or oh, gonna be a different key? Am I blind? I don't see a smaller shift. Oh, there's like a code. No, that doesn't work. Oops. Oh, did I? Okay, let me check.
I didn't see a shift in here. Yeah, I could use any key, but I just... I didn't see a shift in here. I saw a down arrow. Oh, yeah. So what do people put if not shift right there? Well, it looks like a lot of people put shift right there. What the? Oh, it's from ISO. Oh. Oh. I have this code one. No, that doesn't work. They're pretty tight. So I'm gonna do pink arrows. Soju 1.25 is international? Wait. Don't say that. Holy. Wait. I feel so bad for 40s users. Holy shit. 40s users have it rough. Hip it law. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what should I put here instead? Just like a... Any sets you guys are buying next? I was thinking of buying the PBT one. Wait, before I bought this, I was like, Yo, does this work? And I was told this works. Oh, wait, really? Um, for my first EPBT set, it, it seems fine. Well, I have this enter. Should I just put a different enter key there? Like this one right here? <laughs> and this Jeep. <laughs> And then should I just do this one as, like, something else? Wait, but this is not the right... This is not the right profile. This is what this looks like. Wait, it's another archetype. <laughs> That's a Zoji one? I'm not the biggest fan of that sculpt. Uh, put any 1.5 in the bottom row code or something. Yeah, I'll probably just put... <sighs> yeah. Probably code or something. Okay, and then these are what? The same things. Okay. Oh, and the pink set? Okay. 
You know, this is like the hardest part. But after we have this part figured out, then we're good. Wait, should I put code here? Or do you think I put the blank? Oh, thanks for the raid! I hope your stream went well. Sorry I had to dip. I had to... I had to stream this build. <laughs> but now I'm struggling with... <laughs> the kidding of the 40s. <laughs> oh no. Page up. Is this too small? No, it's fine. Can I get a shout out? Thank you. Put windows there? Wait, what is this? Wait. Delete. Backspace? Oh, that's cursed. Wait, this is backspace? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Wait, backspace is all the way here. What the? Okay, there's this backspace. Good night, Sakiri. Okay, and then delete right there. Uh. Oh, switch them over? Oh, okay. <laughs> we also had a bit of kidding related really struggle on our, our the 50. You didn't know how to sort the keys by profile. Oh, yeah. I struggle a lot with like the palm jelly ones. Those are hard too for me. Okay, so that's better. Okay, what do you guys think? Pink blank or the screen one? Should we keep this the green code? Or should we do a pink blank? Keep green? 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 Okay. Looks like keep green. Everyone's saying green. Okay. Ooh, what a struggle. Sucks because I bought the 40 set intentionally for this kid. <laughs> I didn't even have all the keys. I need to buy international. Today I learned. 40's kidding is truly cursed. Keep it live, Reed. Yeah, I bought it from Kono. But I'm not buying the international kit just for it. Spend forty dollars. Look, I'm willing to spend extra money for stuff like. Greg accent to make my Greg blush. But if you're asking me to spend $40 just for one key for a 40s keyboard, that's a no go for me. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Sounds nice. How do you spend hundreds on a one you without? Okay, but like for this key versus like, like it's not even the same. Like, come on, you can't even compare. 
Yeah, it's not the same. Spoken like a true non-artisan collector. <laughs> That's how I know. You don't collect resin. How do you think mental just has? <laughs> what? Something ain't right here. Thanks to the follow. Oh, it might. I might have to use the um the via on the website. Someone was saying that. Someone's saying the actual via website or actual via program doesn't work for this one or it hasn't been working for the newer boards i've noticed okay cool oh so this one delete wait no this one's backspace and delete and then page up page down why is this caps lock? This needs to be tab. Where's tab? Control, window, code, that's fine. Right shift, that's fine. <laughs> okay. There you go, I mean, there's nothing wrong with... It's just that... I think 40s boards are really cute. I love 40s boards. But the fact that there's never compatible keycaps, like, no wonder 40s users are always so mad. Like, I'm complaining about spending money for one key, but that's, like, their life. That's what they have to live with, you know? I mean, but to be fair, like, for a 40s user, if you just buy DSA, then you're good. DSA is all you need. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is if I want Bluetooth. It's my favorite linear switch. I like Popoos or I like Fierce Girls. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Wait, I was a little thrown off for a sec. Okay, let's see. Is Soju on here? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. What is Hedge? Is this a keycap set? Wait. G GMK Hedge? Hedge keycaps? I don't see it. Is it GMK? Huh. Alright, you guys ready? Let me set everything up and then we can listen to it. Is it EPPT? I'll look for it after. Help me do build, build bougie. I thought maybe it would be this, but it doesn't work. I don't know how to do exclamation point. Okay, let me set that up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness, I need to set this layer. 
Oh, it's not, it's bounded to layer two, that's why. Okay. Can I do this as... Oh, uh, wait, okay, let's see. Ah! Oh! Wait, no, that's one. Wait, wait, how do I... Oh, that's cursed, okay, hold on. Ah! Uh, uh, okay. <gasps> Wait, well, I figured it out. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Alright, so today we're building the S. This is S46. <laughs> um, but it's a 40 squared. We're using tangerine switches, 205G, Drox stabilizers. Um, it is on a palm plate with the plate foam. So TLDR, um, palm plate, tangerine switches, uh, plate foam, EPDT, soju. Wait, how do I turn caps lock off? Wait, how do I turn caps lock off? <gasps> oh no, hold on. It's not found anywhere. Oh no, okay. Okay, perfect. Okay! Imagine if I broke my PB on 40s, <laughs> then it's like, I would have to switch over to it. <laughs> I would have to. I was meant for 40 <laughs> if I broke my PB, <laughs> but I didn't, so. Okay, so that was the first build, that's with plate foam, and now we're going to do it without the foam. Yeah, I think it sounds good. So this kit is available right now, like you can buy it. I think the PC one, the PC bottom one, they're coming out at a later date if I had to guess. But the ones that they have on their website right now are the ones with the stainless steel bottom that you can get. And this is a new color. I like the Zaku switches. Uh, yeah. Although I like the Namazus a bit more from Bolsa. Bolsa is one of my sponsors. So while I do like Zaku's, I think the Namazus are better. No, I'm really happy that Sam reached out or not. Well, Luke non reached out to me. Not sure if that's Sam, <laughs> but uh, they reached out to me to build this, so 
pretty happy that they did because I have a board by them that I really like. Oh yeah, my cat's there. Yeah, so there are kits for the other version available now, but this one is a PC bottom and a new green. I almost picked the pink one, but went with green. I'm a sucker for green, you know. And Bluetooth is available for this kit. Patty picking green, what a shock. What do you mean? I asked I asked my mods this time. I asked you guys. Does Lanko make the sem popular? Uh I think in terms of like you mean like how it feels like more poppy that depends more on the spring i would say the long pole makes it like louder right here i think it's gonna follow yeah i think in terms of sound profile the long poles make it sound louder but in terms of like poppy like feeling probably it would be more like the springs Can you use cool cables if you go Bluetooth, though? <laughs> True. My cable's from Bear Cables. Do you think Sam may send you the 65% one? I'm not sure. I'm actually... Okay. <laughs> I'm low-key surprised that Sam even, like, reached out to me to build it because... I'm not sure that um, they even knew who I was. But I don't know where he was like, hey, would you be interested? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess it, oh. What does the long pole effect? Um, it's typically going to be sound because the pole is longer. Um, so it makes switches in, like, an easiest explanation would be, like, it makes switches louder. In terms of, like, if you want it to feel poppy, that's the spring, I would say. That's more on the spring. Okay, these coming out is fine. Hi, Reagan. How are you doing? Thanks for the 19 month resub. Yeah, the Zakus have long springs, so Zakus will feel very poppy, and Zakus will be loud. Louder. Regan, this is one of the 40s, one of the green 40s I was telling you about. I ended up going with the EPBT Soju 40s kit. Oh, it's in the build command. The uh, build command has the website. Or Voodoo linked it, nice. That looks like a bowl of fruit salad. It kind of does, eh? Yeah, no problem. I like Sam's boards. I have one. I wanted to buy another one, but... Uh, but it sold out before I could buy it. It was, like, pretty pretty sad. Do you have any other Studio Ghibli tattoos? I do not. Maybe one day. I haven't gotten a new tattoo in, like, three years. But I'm going to Korea, and I'm going to be getting a new one, so... Finally breaking that dry spell. <laughs> One day I'm going to have full sleeves on both arms. 
Don't tell us that you're getting. Oh, okay. Surprises only, okay. <laughs> How are you doing, though? Was the it the Alice? Which Alice? Is it weird that I want to eat switches sometimes? No. Switch? I think. Man, I have evolved past. I I just buy switches now if they're cute. I don't care. As long as they have a light spring weight, I'll give them a try. Oh! No, it's the, the huge, like, LED one. I... I, I don't know, it's just like LED screens are so novelty and I, I want to have a board with it, but it's hard to justify and Sam had one and I would have bought it if there was like extras, but there weren't, so. Wait, this code goes over here. Andy, both of your switches are pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> I only buy cute switches nowadays. I just buy cute switches and spring swap them. Then I'm content. That's all I need. Would you put a picture on the LED? Yeah, probably Ginkgo. One hundred percent Ginkgo, actually. Timothy? No. <laughs> Definitely my dog. Yo, let me actually take out the keys that don't have a switch so I know and I'll know I need to grab a a switch for them. I can't help but feel like a lot of you judge me for liking Timothy. <laughs> Why do I I feel a bit of judgment. You don't know who he is? He played... Um, he's known for his roles in Call Me By Your Name, Dune. Oh, yeah, so about that, Paul, is that mine is one of the newer versions that they're going to release. So mine has a PC bottom, which is the new one that they're planning on releasing, I'm guessing. But right now, the extras that they have are the stainless steel. So my green is a new green. So if you would, if you want my green color, uh, you will have to wait. Because they're doing the extras for the stainless steel bottom one right now. But yeah, this is a new green. Wait, was delete here? Yes, right? Yeah, so I would join their Discord if you're waiting then. Oh. 
Oh lord. <laughs> oh no, the champagne mint is different. This is a different green. But if you if you don't want the stainless steel bottom, they'll have uh, the sun later on. Was this code? No, this is shift, right? Yeah. Let's see Have I built one of these before? No, this is my first time. It's a 40, so it's like a little I'm not used to the layout. The PC bottom? Yeah, then I would uh, join their Discord when they do their Hey, we're selling the PC bottom versions. TFC VB Actually, you want to hear my favorite song by this band? Have they played it already? I like this one. This song is like so pretty. It kind of reminds me of like... Like an underwater... Like... Uh... Like Little Mermaid. Or like, you're in this like forest like a crystal forest like nausicaa wait z x c v b n m <laughs> i feel like z x c v b n m oh okay i see i see question mark and then the weird code thing. Like, it's just a very pretty song, in my opinion. This is called... When I'm Alone by Bank. So, Bay... Bay... B A Y N K. They're they're my number one for this year. Yeah, no problem. A S D. ASD, FG, right? FGH. I feel like I'm gonna. I okay. So I got these Hello Kitty pineapple cakes, and it came with this plate. But the pineapple, the pineapple cakes are actually really good. <laughs> so I'm tempted to go back to H Mart to buy another box but like a different box so I get a different plate. <laughs> but yeah, they were really good. Hello. Am I selling my stickers? I was planning on it, but I haven't yet. If you want stickers, uh, I can send them to you. Or I can list them on my store. But I, I was selling them, but... I normally just give them away with uh, my keyboard builds, and I was thinking about, you know, sending them out for subs, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Which sticker do you want? I bring them to my meetups too, 
if there's ever meetups. Wait, speaking of stickers, Roy Reagan has my sticker bundle. <laughs> probably just keep those. <laughs> Sticker's so cute, yeah. I guess it depends on which one you're looking for. I can let you know. Do, what do you guys think about, like, sending stickers out for subs? Would you guys be interested in that? I think that's what Diego and Yura, what they do. You guys want that? But you have to be comfortable with giving me your address. You like the evil sticker? Or I can start selling them on my website. But I just didn't know if like people would buy them, you know? Because I have, I have a few different designs. Every time I buy something for any shop, they send stickers. I always feel so bad. I literally have an entire bag of stickers. Let me show you. So if you've ever wondered what this big white bag over there was... Here are all my off cards. These are all artisan off cards. <laughs> and these are legit all the stickers I have. <laughs> like this whole bag is just stickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all stickers. I just stick them all in here. <laughs> yeah. But look, I have my cordal ones in here too. I don't throw my my stickers, but I do I do keep them all in this bag. Off cards? No. Oh, but should I? For each keyboard commission? Did the song repeat? I put them on my um, Pelican case. I wash my bottle a lot that I'm afraid. Oh, wait. This song made my... This song was number 29 on my most played. Yeah, I might have to. Yeah, I can see what number. Yeah, it's just DM me on Discord. My number one song was this one. But that's because this was like the number one song, like the first song in a playlist, and I would just like press play. And so, like, this song just so happened to. Be played a lot. Do you have macarons? I'm going downstairs. Eh. Uh, yes. Water too. Which macaron do you want? It's actually over on your bench. Honey lavender. 
Thank you. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Japanese songs like this. Okay, cool. Mole, hi, page lag. Hey, you're building a remote control. It's so good. How are you? This is the second build. Actually, like my top five categories is like indie, indie, indie rock, indie pop, indie something. Oh, let me see. Yeah, remote control. Oh, wait. No. Where is it? It was all like indie, except for like one thing, two things. Hey! Oh, stupid bullets! Hello. Thank you for the raid. Hello. So I explored sixty-eight different genres. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Hello, indie rock, indie pop, indie soul, pop, and then vapor soul. <laughs> Are this tangerine? They are, yes. Yeah, you, you like this? If you do exclamation point egg tart, it will link the person. I'm actually thinking of figuring out a way to do like maybe CNC or 3D printed egg tart screw trays. I'm thinking about it. I don't know how I would do CNC, but that's on my bucket list of things I want to do. Yeah, so this is the second build. Um, this is without the plate foam. But this keyboard, the first variation is actually in stock right now. You can buy it and it comes with the stainless steel bottom. But mine is the upcoming one, which is uh, PC bottom. So, well, hi, Tessa. How was your stream? I was there for a little bit, but then I had to, I had to stream too. Yeah, these are the tangerine switches, the uh, the light green stems, so they're a lighter spring weight. Wait, different dragon. <laughs> different dragon. <laughs> no, you're fine. This is Haku. <laughs> Although I know what dragon you're talking about. Is it keycaps reward? You guys want a free keycaps reward redemption? Nice. The macron. Nice. I have tap water. Well, you guys want a free one? It's just free. You guys don't have to spend any points. Yeah, I will play it for you guys right now for free. <laughs> it's a meme redeem. Yeah, from Spirit Away, yes. But it's really small. I made it really small on purpose. Oh! <laughs> there you guys go. Does it make sense now? <laughs> okay, so this 
the story behind that was I went to okay, I'll tell you the very, very story, but um <laughs> I went to lunch with Meepergon. And Meepergon asked me about Teha's like keycap method about how he would use to twist them on his nipples to align them. And I was like, that does not sound like Teha, right? Like, because I had never seen it. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, next time in, I'm in Teha's stream, I'm going to ask him. So lo and behold, I go to Teha's stream and I'm like, what's this keycap? Like, you twist them? Like, w what's going on? And so he demonstrated and he was saying with the old GMK chase, what you could do is you pick them up like this, you twist them, and then they go perfectly on the keyboard after that. And so the reason we don't see it anymore is because the new GMK trays don't support it. But the old ones, like, you used to be able to do that, twist it, and then you could put it. So that was, like, his method to go really fast, right? And so he demonstrated it. And he made that sound. I clipped it, and now it's my... That now it's my meme redeem. That's why it's 69420 and it has Teha's face on it. <laughs> and like he did it so naturally too. I think it really caught a lot of people off guard. At least it caught me off guard. <laughs> but that's the lore behind it. Yeah, the regrip. Mm hmm. So here's the bottom, acrylic bottom. Yeah, I thought Meep was like trolling, but it turns out it's like a real thing. And the story behind that redeem is... So when I play variety games, I like to do voices for characters within like within a reasonable amount, right? And so I was playing RuneScape and I was doing voices for a chef, like the very first chef you meet in a tutorial level in RuneScape. And the chef like kept laughing at me. And so that's the voice I gave him. <laughs> Did not realize that it's Teha on the meme team. Yeah, it's Teha's face. <laughs> that's why it's called keycaps. And 69 420 points because it's very loud. Okay. Also, I forgot who said the egg tart. Yeah, you do exclamation point egg tart, it'll take you to the artist or the um the person who made it. Because look, I got a lot. <laughs> so you got the clean version, you got like the speckled version, and then I also have the mum mum version. This is mom, this is dad, <laughs> the two babies. <laughs> I also have a uh, spoon soup holder where it's like a flat egg tart, but there's like a bite mark. It's really cute, I bought it for my mom, but you can put your spoon, like your soup spoon on it. <laughs> but yeah so she used to take commissions but she got really popular so she just does like random drops every now and then but yeah you have the clear vision and you have the speckled vision so i'm trying to figure out a way to do like a cnc or 3d printed ecto tray i want to and i want to see if there's a vendor who would run it i've been thinking about like a bunch of different things that i want to do Oh, no, that's Cosmo. That's my cat. <laughs> but I feel like if I did magnetic stackable egg trays, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, it would be magnetic and then stackable, hopefully. The CNC on that would be... Yeah, I mean, people are telling me it's really hard. So maybe not the CNC. So maybe the 3D printing route is the way to go. But yeah, I... It would feel weird for me to find a ceramic artist to produce these egg tart trays when, you know, 
there's an artist that I already really like, and I I wouldn't want to like quote copy her work, you know. Well, that's the biggest thing. It's like I I don't want to like copy her. Like I want to continue supporting her if I can. Um, so maybe like. 3d printed tray ectart tray would be neat um but i'm thinking about it it's just lots of thoughts about how i want to like expand my brand so i'm thinking of maybe doing like merch oh, if she would do a group buy i don't know you think she would be down to do like a group buy for keyboard people for egg tart trays but she doesn't she doesn't need our business like she's already popping off so it would really have to be like a favor on her end if she were to do it i mean but that's the thing is that she already has so many people asking her to do it would it hurt to ask yeah ow my skin is like cracking okay like it's so dry i need to put lotion on my hands i have like pretty gnarly hands i don't have soft girl hands i'd buy two sets because your sister yeah i mean they're awesome but yeah it's something i was thinking about yeah it's also winter time but Probably try and gauge some inches to see who would be interested. Okay. Yeah, I would like to do like a bigger merch line next year, but I'm trying to figure out like what people would like and like different designs and if there's like a, um, anyone who would like to like collaborate with me on the thing, but I don't know yet. Oh, why is this not working? Oh god. You sub. Oh. Okay. D1 H8 E D. <laughs> Thanks for the prime. <laughs> How do I see your name? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just read it word for word because I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> Thank you for the prime sub. You now have okay look. I can I figured it out. Oh, -ho -ho. I know how to do exclamation point on a 40s now. Thanks to the Prime Sub. You now are a proud owner of all those or most of those emotes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So let's do the typing test for this one. All right, you guys ready for this one? So, this is the S36 PC bottom. So it's alley top PC bottom. We're using a palm plate. Uh, 
We're using tan tangerine switches. And this has no plate foam. So the first build we did was with plate foam, but this one does not. But yeah, so TLDR, this is um, palm plate, tangerine switches, no plate foam, EPBT soju. This is a little slower, but... Okay, but yeah, those are the two builds. What do you guys think? It's really light. It's super light. Like... I don't know where my weight thing is, but... I would say this... I would say my water bottle is heavier than this. <laughs> I can change the channels. It it does have Bluetooth actually. It has Bluetooth, so you could be like, <laughs> you know. But yeah, it's cute. Okay, but let's look at it. Yeah, so this isn't available yet, but it will be available soon. But if you don't like PC bottom and you want like a shiny bottom, they have some kits available. So here's the side. Here's the back, Sam. So it's a top mount. Has Bluetooth. Of course you need a battery, but... Here's the front again. Has a little blocker. Oh, that looks so cute up close, right? A USB port side. Here's this side. Yeah, that's the board. Thank you, Sam or Luke Nan, for sending it out. I hear it's not from Sam. Yeah, thank you not from Sam. <laughs> Cute.